Hello everyone, welcome to a quick for science video. This is not going to be the stream summary, probably. Um, but we wanted to know how we can maintain a stock of a certain item using the AE2 storage system, because what we want to do is stock up on things that take a long time to craft, but not stock up so much that we use up the raw items. Specifically, I'm thinking about plates. We have to compress ingots into plates, and it takes a good you know, 10 seconds per ingot. Many things take, you know, 8, 16 plates, something like that. So it takes ages to craft those things, and we don't want to be doing it on the fly. So one way that you can, uh, we're back in the test world that we used a while ago, and one way that you can do that is to have an interface like this. And in this config, you've seen this before, um, and we have a crafting recipe from previous experiments, whereby if we ask for Restonia gears, uh, well, they can craft Restonia gears, so we put that in here, look, you can craft empowered Restonia gears in that place. Now you'll notice that there, runs, there are no gears in the system, and if a gear shows up in the system uh, via, by means of this for example, Restonia gear, I'm going to do it this way rather than crafting it, uh, please give me a, a lot, okay. then those will disappear. Or one of them will. One, one of them will. One of them will. Empowered Restonia gear. You're on the same network? <laughs> Are you on the same network? That's a good question. Oh, that's a Restonia. I've done it already. That says empowered and that doesn't. There we go. And then go away. Right. The fact that it didn't replace the crafting recipe with the things I put in should have been a clue, but I didn't notice. So that's in there. Okay. Take that out, you get another one. Take all of these out, you can craft them, take this out, you don't get the thing. Right? So what you can do is you can actually ask for a stack. Maximum of a stack, so you can't do more, that won't go up beyond 64, you can only delete it. So you can ask for a stack of things and it will keep it in this inventory, which is all very well and good. So if there are any in the inventory, it will immediately go away and it's gone. But a crafting card, which we've used for this setup, which there are other videos, this is an old version, so go and have a look at the other videos as to how we finally solved that problem. Um, with a crafting card, you can tell this thingy to craft it if necessary. In fact, I believe it will simply just craft it. You can hear that this is on. It's making those, why? Right? Because it needs the bronze. So it's crafting these in order to put them in there. So in a minute, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. You get several, I think, out of a single bronze. Okay, so that's going to keep crafting. But you'll notice that there are still no Restonia crystals in the thing. Why? Because it can't see that. So what you can do here is make a storage bus go. Why? Storage bus, storage bus, storage bus. Bus. And this will tell it that the things in the inventory of this are available for export. Um, now, the curious thing here is that I thought that this would give me the option of not um, using the items in the inventory. So I believe that it's smart enough, therefore, not to keep pulling this out and putting it back in again to satisfy the problem. It needs 64 and it hasn't got 64, so it's going to craft the rest. Um, but you'll see now that these should be available in this inventory. Thus, we can keep a stack of something. And if we wanted to, we can keep a second stack. And this will just keep crafting. So you can you can fill this up. It scales a little bit. Um, there are other options. And I want to see what happens if we try them. So I'm going to set up the next thing. And we'll see what it does. So back in a tick. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take something that we have an infinite amount of which is apparently just that. Why is that? Can I fix this? Maybe. Oh, because I've got a search going. <laughs> Get rid of that. Right, so let's say we wanted to keep these in there, right? So if I ask this export bus to start exporting those, it's going to. How fast? That's interesting. It stopped. Oh no, four, five, six, so I think that there is a 
as a go faster card. So this should make this go a bit faster. Look at the, the number up there, right? 37, 45, 53. Uh, there's keys we can use, one of which is a quantity key. Which will tell us how many there are, right? We can also lock it. So now this will not put anything in the other ones, unless, well, at least until that's full, right? So that I think holds 1,024 1, altogether of any item, maybe. Maybe 1,024 stacks? It's stopped, right? So this is trying to export that, but it can't. It's stopped. So what happens if I now ask it to export something else? So we need a capacity card, because this allows you to ask for more things. I'm going to put it in until the network is empty, then try the next ones. We're using round robin mode, which will do one, then the other, then the other, then right one at a time. Right? That makes sense. So the network's never going to be empty, so it's never going to try the next thing. But we can ask for maybe copper ingots and these things. You know, it doesn't matter what we put in here. I want to see what happens. It's going to do one, two. Oh, we have to unlock this. It's still doing that. But then it's done that, and then it's done that. So let's get rid of that and lock it. So it's still doing these two, even though it can't do that one. I think it's doing that, 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 which is why you're doing that, that, pause. Oh no. No, it's going really fast now. Interesting. Anyway, that's for science number one. For science number two, does it do the same thing if you're crafting? Back in a sec. Okay, so I've taught the network to create sticks, stone bricks, and string. I've used these because they're really quick. And I've told the infinite um, disk drive thingy to provide the raw materials for them. So we've got infinite birchwood planks, we've got infinite uh, stone, and we've got infinite cotton, which is how we're making the string, which is on stream is what we'll have done. So you'll see that in another video. Now, the reason I did that is I want to bring these over here and I want to lock this drawer to those. Right. Uh, let's use the quantity key as well. I'm going to take them all out again. Oh. Interesting. Not what I meant to do. Lock the drawer. Oh, I think I accidentally unlocked it and I don't know. So, even though there's nothing of those in them, it's still locked to those items. Good. With me so far? So we're going to put this on here, we're going to put this on here, and we're going to put in here a capacity card, an acceleration card. And don't forget, we also want to do this so that it does one at a time. <sighs> Actually, let's do both. Let's try them both. So I'm going to ask you to please export all of these things. We've got the crafting card, crafting card. And the crafting card says, you can either tell it to pull things out of the network and put them in the thing, or you can tell it only to craft. You need to tell it only to craft, because the other thing you're gonna do is put a storage bus on here. Right. Well, we'll see what that does if we put the string in here. Now the network believes that it has two string in it, which is true. The trouble is if you ask it to export from storage, it's gonna pull that string out and put it back in and keep looping and never actually craft anything because I have not given it a target like with the interface. The interface says I need 64. It knows it doesn't have 64. It's not gonna pull them out and put them back to try and satisfy the other 64. There are only it's going to craft more, right? This time you need to enforce crafting. So I'll put crafting on only, right? We're going to put these in here. And you're going to start doing stuff. Begin. It's doing the string. Okay. Uh, I'll come back when that's full. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. It did some of those and then it built some of those. And now it's building some of these again. So it, it didn't actually fill up. <laughs> but... Now it's doing those. I wonder if this is a 
I've got a co-processing, right? So it should be able to do two crafting recipes at once. But look, that's uh, telling you what it's making, which is pretty cool. It's scheduling a bunch of them. And then outputting all of those. That's interesting. So what happens if we flip that? Back in a sec. Okay, so I've filled it up with creative mode. And it is just outputting the other ones. And I'm guessing that it's never trying to craft string. Let's watch this and see. I think it's investigating what it can put in. Because it's pausing. You see it's pausing every now and then. So I think it's investigating what it can put in. It's trying string. It's going, that's not going to work. And then it's trying the next one to go, oh, I'll craft that. So it does pause. There's a big pause, which I'm guessing is where the string would be. Now, if we put this in round robin, I guess we would find it's a lot slower because it has to wait for each of those. Oh, random mode. I didn't even notice I'd done that. Okay, so my mistake. I generally didn't see that. And you're all probably going, you put it in random mode, you idiot. Fine, chill. We're, we're, we're all... Happy here. So, okay, now what are you doing? <laughs> the first item is sticks, but it didn't do sticks. Maybe it was still doing random mode temporarily? Export until the network is empty, then try the net one, next ones. Okay, and now if you put it in round robin mode, it's probably going to do a bunch of those sticks, and a bunch of those. <laughs> Let's watch the crafting. Back on sticks. Let's take some of these out and see if it changes its uh, tune. Yeah, it has. So now it's doing those again, which is what we want. So it seems to me that this is a perfectly good way of um, maintaining an inventory. Now this could obviously do 1024, but watch. There is a, a downgrade in this, which will take the base storage to a single stack. Now doing this is equivalent to doing a um, an interface, but one drawer can therefore hold four stacks of the same thing for a lot cheaper than an interface, because the interface only has nine slots. So you can use half an interface is one drawer, which is just wood. So by using a drawer controller and hooking up lots of drawers to each other and locking each one to a certain number of plates, these, these are representing plates, right? And some plates are very, very expensive, like aluminum maybe, or platinum. We don't want to be creating entire reams of these things because it's going to use up all of our ingots. If we do this, we can't upgrade it in this drawer because it's kind of full, right? But what if we, um, what if we turn you off? We turn, just break that, right? You're going to stop. No, I <laughs> have to break that one or it's not going to work. So if we uh, take everything out of here. Did somewhat fill that up, huh? And then do that. And then do that. Does that work? Yeah. So now this can only hold 64 of each. Let me put this back. Now you're going to try exporting stuff, but you can't. You're going to try crafting anything? No. This is working perfectly. I was expecting to have to solve this problem, but I don't. So let's take one of these out. It's going to put it back. Perfect. Now, here's the question. I just made a bunch of sticks. You make two sticks with each one of those. Where's the other stick? From 95 sticks in this system. But only 64 of them in here. Where's the rest? It must be the disc. Right? So let's take this out. Oh, wait. Did I delete that by accident? <laughs> Maybe. Where did it get? Sticks. 64. Take one out. 64. Crafting a bunch. 
How did you make 30 sticks? Just to put one in there. Still only got 64. Disc? Am I disc back? No? <laughs> no discs allowed here. Okay, let's um, trash these. And then get a disc uh, cell. So storage cell. Do the rest of them show up? Yes. So they sort of exist in the ether somewhere. I don't really get it. And now, let's take that out again. And again, we should have, some, in fact, this should tell me what's on it. One of 63 types. So let's put that in here. It won't tell me. Um, this will. Let me 64, thank you. That's okay. You've got 31 sticks. Take one out, pass it around. You now have 64 sticks in the system. Again, because you're going to create one. There we go. Right. Take a string out. Does it still create it? Because now there's sticks in the ether. Like, where did they go? Is it stuck? It does seem to be stuck. So that is sort of what you might expect, right? It's still crafting 30 sticks. You've only got... Mm, well, that's not it. <laughs> you've got lots of code processes, actually. So you can craft multiple things at the same time. You know, you've got multiple CPUs. No, you haven't. Oh, this can basically craft several things at once. Let's do this. Now what are you doing? You're going to craft a string. Yes. Right. So what it's going to do is it's going to clog up the thing that's crafting, i.e. the CPU, until it has room for what comes out of it. That will be a limitation, but not in our case, because in our case, we've got a one-to-one. -one. We're doing one at a time. So as soon as it needs one, it's going to craft as many as it can at once, which is to say the string recipe creates more than one string. I don't know why it created 30. That seems silly. Oh, they're in here. Why does it create 30 when I only need one? Let's give this back. No, <laughs> wrong one. Put this back. Why does it create 30 when it only needs one? Because these are all now going, there you go. That, you know, there's 95. But this says only craft, right? You can't use the ones that are in the disk. So every time I take one of these out, it's going to craft some more. Why does it do so many? Is it because of that downgrade? Can I uninstall a downgrade? Can I like, remove it, I think? Don't know. <laughs> so let's not worry about it. Oh, that's not okay, that's interesting. There's a button? What does that do? <laughs> no idea. Interesting. Anyway. I think that the fact that we're going to have... It's only going to craft one. It should only craft... Well, I guess we find out back in a minute. Okay, so I've put 64 bricks in there and I've locked it. So now we can only put bricks in. I chose bricks because the crafting recipe makes one at a time. Did I put the crafting recipe in the machine? No. We make one brick using nine brick bricks, right? This is in everything mode, but I've not told it to do bricks yet. So please give me one brick. 
output bricks. Right, how many did you make? <laughs> oh, it'll be in here. 69, 77, it's making a ton of them. Why? Good question. Let's smash this. Let's now do this, but without the um, just one without the limit. You lock it, put a brick in it, put an expert bus, expert bus, expert boss. Put all of this in, and you ask it for that brick. So now you're on zero bricks, but you. Have. Not allowed to use stocked items. I'm guessing what it's trying to do is fill it up as fast as possible. So it sees that the space. It could be that it's not reporting back correctly how much room there is for the bricks. So Each of these crafting jobs is doing 30 at a time, right? It says there's 200 in there. Oh, that's the, okay. No, no. So it's doing 32, maybe. Let's watch and see what it does. Yeah, it said 32 immediately. So it's trying to do half a stack at a time. Now, what if we take these out? Because that was really slow. So the acceleration card could be saying make 32 at a time and then dump them in. Right? That might be the issue. One. Right, so it's doing one at a time now. So that was the problem. When it comes to the exporting of um, plates, we want one at a time so that nothing gets stuck. But it doesn't matter that we do one at a time because the biggest bottleneck in creating the plates is actually creating them in the first place. So if it asks for a plate, it's going to be a while before it gets one. So it's going to round robin, I think. Um, the only thing that we then need to worry about is the fact that... Like, even then, what happens if we flood this with bricks? And take one out. You're still going to want one, right? So did you make just one and then stop? Or are you now making one more to see where it will go? Do you have 1,025, basically? 1,055? You're not allowed in here anymore. 1,024. And is there one in here? No. And if I take one out, it's going to craft it to replace it. Crafting one, done. So now there's 1,024. Did it craft a second one? There's nothing in here. So it seems like the way this works is it puts the result of crafting back into the interface and that's supposed to absorb it into the system and store it somewhere. So having taken away the disk drive, we can see what that overcrafted. So the acceleration card in here doesn't accelerate the speed with which it exports items, or it does if you're doing an export from storage into the thing. But if you're doing crafting, it accelerates the number of items that it attempts to craft at once, which is bad news bears, because if we're only doing one at a time, and we don't want to overfill because there's nowhere else to put these items, right? Because we're crafting them, that means this is the only place those items can live, which means if something gets pulled into the system and isn't allowed to go in there, they're just going to get stuck in the inter interface. Now, what has made me wonder is that this has not then gone because let's say we had accidentally overcrafted and done that right this is going to try and craft it but that should get immediately filled up by that the storage bus will go oh, i've got a place for that 42 what did we have before 43 are you also crafting one maybe it crafted one let's take one out that was 43 now it should be on 42 it's going to go back up to 43 because one got crafted, right? No. So suppose to an extent it doesn't matter. If the system is isolated and it crafts eight 
copper plates, who doesn't have anywhere to put the copper plates, it'll stay in the inventory of the interface, but then when we use one, instead of exporting it through the export bus, the storage bus should get there first and put that thing into it, and then the export bus doesn't need to do anything. I don't think we can rely on that, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it go one by one in real life, but we have the science it. That is a way you can limit how many things that you have in the system. So if we put a void downgrade, not a void downgrade, one of those, you know, single stack downgrades onto one of those and use as many boxes as we want to force how many stacks we keep, that's a very cheap way of ensuring that we've only got one, two, three, four stacks of a particular plate and it will not craft one until it needs one. And having no room does not stop it crafting the other one, which is perfect. So for science done, we have learned what we wanted to learn. That's going to work. So we'll do that either between now and the next stream or on the next stream, depending on when I get around to doing it. But thanks for watching. I hope that you will join me for the summary of the previous stream, which is not what this is. That's going to be another video. Hope that you've enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. I certainly did. And I will see you then.